hello friends i am neeraj so let us continue to add some more charm to our uh, blog application and uh, uh, for our application that uh, we have used uh, go fiber framework and uh, mysql database so in database file so we have uh, uh, for connecting to our mysql database so actually so with uh, with this connection string we are uh, going to connect to our mysql database but here there is a problem that uh, we have hard coded the values for the database user the password and the database name but actually this is not the right way to do that so ideally our application should access the sensitive information from the environment and uh, should not expo and uh, uh, as a best practices as per the i mean design principles so we should never expose the uh sensitive information to the to the uh, to the our code base itself okay so what i am going to do is that uh, i am going to move this sensitive information uh to the environment and uh, we will uh and uh, our application will access those information from the environment and will and will use it accordingly okay so believe me this is very very simple and there is nothing nothing much and there is nothing there, there is no such uh, complexity about so all we have to do is that uh, we will have to use a third party package so why to invent the fail wheel when there is already something so we will use uh, uh, this uh, there is a third party package uh, developed by joho go.env so we will use uh, this package so all we have to do is we will have we will need to uh, install it so go dot env so we will open the terminal and uh, we will paste this command it will hit enter so it will take some time to install so okay so it has already been installed and uh, now we will need to use it so first we will need to import it so it would be like this and uh, before in the in the init method so we will load so there is a there basically there is a very nice way so this package is having a method called so go dot env dot load and uh, actually we can pass the uh in one the name of the file as well so we will it may return an error so we will check it and uh, error is not equal to nil then we will log dot battle and uh, we will say error in loading dot env file so right now if we run our application so we should get an error so we will run our program with go run server dot go so we are getting error in loading file because we didn't create the dot uh, env file so let us come here and here we will create a new file and we will name it dot env and here we in this file so we will say db user and i will supply provide my user and we will say db password equal to so my password and we will save it and maybe so we can we can also have db underscore name and our database name is uh, fiber blog so we will paste it here we will save it and uh, now if we run our program again so we will this is a, this is a different user so we need to adjust it but uh, uh, our environment file is has been loaded so once this is that is loaded so now in our uh, this uh, connect db function so we can access those values so we will create a few uh, variables so let's say 
user equals and now since the file has been has been loaded so this is already available in the os so we will use os.getenv and we will pass on the db user and i will duplicate it some more time so db password and db name so it would be our password and it would be our db name and uh, here we, we will very simply just uh, need to replace that so we will say user plus so our password would be we will replace the password this is not needed and uh, here also so we will db and db name and we don't need that we will save it and now if we run our program so yes our application is running fine and if we go to access our uh, local host port 8000 so we are getting the data so there is nothing wrong that there is no problem so we are getting the data so uh, this way so this is the this is a very beautiful way and uh, this way so uh, uh, we are not exposing the this sensitive information to our code base and uh, and there and one more we can and with this way we can get one more benefit that uh, uh, if we change the if we need to if you need to plan to change to the uh, the username or the password or the database name so we need we so we need to change only in the in this in dot env file and uh, we don't need to come back to the file and uh, apply those stuffs uh, uh, i mean in in the code base itself so there is no hard binding so our application is uh, loosely coupled is loosely tied with tied using the environment files environment variables okay so that's all for this session and uh, uh, i hope you enjoyed that uh, enjoyed this session and if you have anything to say if you have any query or anything to say so please do let me know in the comment section and uh, i'll see you in some other session so till then take care and happy coding